Bring it up. Bring it up. The blue mind is a science that states being near, in, or on the water can make you happier, healthier. It will reinvigorate your spirit, perhaps help you to break free from the pressures of life. Maybe become a little fanatical to do something you have never done before. We're gonna break out and have some fun. We're gonna do what you never done. Let me hear you clear water! Are you ready to accelerate? As we show you 15 ways to experience the waters of Florida's west coast on one of America's top rated beaches. It's a good vibe, it's a good vibe, it's a good vibe, it's a good vibe. There's a reason why Clearwater Beach always ranks among TripAdvisor's best beaches in the U.S. There is so much to do here, especially on the water. In this video, we hope to save you a lot of time and some money as we help you to plan your Clearwater Beach getaway. We'll show all the boat tours, from the dinner ships, to the tiki boats, to Captain Mimo's pirate ship. Ahoy! We take you on a speedboat, the Calypso Queen with a tropical buffet, and sail aboard an authentic 52-foot steel schooner. For the adrenaline junkie, we'll explore the intracoastal by jet ski, show you parasailing, tubing, and water skiing. Every night at Pier 60, weather permitting, is a nightly family-friendly sunset celebration with vendors and street performers. It is here you find yearly events like the Sugar Sand Festival that will bring you into. Clearwater is also the spring home of the Philadelphia Phillies. We'll take you inside a Bay Care ballpark. I'll give info for beach lounging rentals from North Beach to the main beach to Sand Key Park. Show the many options for food, from counter-serve eateries to sit-down restaurants with a waterside view. We'll give you all the info for parking and transportation, including the ferry to save you some money. For lodging, we'll show 10 resorts and their elevated pool decks, as well as three vacation rentals, and update you on what's new in Clearwater. Come with us as we explore Clearwater Beach by boat, by jet ski, by parasail, by bike, by ATV, and by foot. Clearwater Beach, one of the best places to stimulate that blue mind. It's sunrise over Clearwater Bay. On the other side of the bay is downtown Clearwater that we'll show shortly. Clearwater Beach is currently ranked third best beach in the U.S. by TripAdvisor, only eclipsed by Siesta Key Beach that we did a video of last year in La Jolla Cove in San Diego. The island of Clearwater Beach is two and a half miles long, bordered by Caladesi Island on the north end, which we showed in our Dunedin Honeymoon Island video, and the Clearwater Pass on the south end with San Key Park on the other side of the pass that we'll show later in the video. Clearwater Beach was not long ago mostly a residential community, but being surrounded by water has led to its popularity and therefore development with condos and resorts, especially on the south half of the island. But one lady, Mary Ackert, refused to sell her house to the developers, and so her gray house built in 1963 still sits here today, surrounded by condos. It's known as the Holdout House. You can actually buy this house today as it is on the market, if you have six million to spare. You'll see it from most of the boat tours who will pass by it. On the beach side are the resorts, but on the bay side are many vacation rentals. I found this great place on Airbnb. It is actually the old stay and play motel, located just a couple of blocks from the Hyatt Regency, that pink coral colored building. While on the outside, it looks like an older motel. The rooms are nicely renovated and really worked out great. It was one of the cheaper places on Clearwater Beach on a very busy weekend. And both the north and south side had nice little waterways to enjoy. You'll find it on Airbnb titled Coastal Sunkissed Vibe. If you're looking for near North Clearwater Beach, there's beach time rentals, which we showed in our previous video of Clearwater Beach. 
This property, a mile north of Pier 60, and a half mile from the Palm Pavilion and Frenchie's Rockaway Grill. And just about a half mile from Pier 60 on the north side of Clearwater Beach are Frenchie's Vacation Cottages. You can also book with Beach Time Rentals. There are two bridges to Clearwater Beach, the Sankey Bridge from the south, or the Memorial Bridge that connects downtown Clearwater with the beach. Be aware, in the spring, in the afternoon, traffic can get backed up all along the mile and a half causeway from downtown Clearwater. So give yourself plenty of time. For transportation, there's the Clearwater Jolly Trolley, which runs every day year round. It goes all the way from Tarpon Springs and Dunedin and travels through downtown Clearwater into multiple stops along Clearwater Beach. It is $5 for an all day pass or even better yet, because you aren't slowed down by the traffic. There is also the Clearwater Ferry. This is great if you are staying in Dunedin or on the mainland of Clearwater and want to go to Clearwater Beach, as the parking is free in downtown Dunedin, in downtown Clearwater, at the City Hall lot, in Pierce Street lot. This is where the ferry departs from in downtown Clearwater, just under the Memorial Bridge. And you board it next to the Starlight Majesty at the Clearwater Beach Marina. It's $5 each way between Clearwater and Clearwater Beach, or $8 to Dunedin. And you get a pretty cheap boat tour. It's an inexpensive way to enjoy the water. While downtown Clearwater is not as exciting as Tampa or St. Pete, there are a couple of things that should be considered in your Clearwater Beach getaway. First is the brand new $84 million renovation of Coachman Park in the waterfront area. It gives a view of Clearwater Harbor and walk and pass around shaded gathering areas, a two acre green space for lounging, a modern playground for little kids and big kids too. There's a splash pad. The biggest part of Coachman Park is the Baycare Sound, a 4,000 seat amphitheater for top tiered concert and events. You can see a schedule at RuthEckerdHall.com. Also for more entertainment across the street is the Capitol Theater. Here, you also have restaurants with street-side dining, like Tequila's Mexican Grill and Cantina, or the Downtown Pizza Sports Bar and Grill. All right, let's go along the causeway towards the beach. About three quarters of the way down on the north side is the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. This aquarium does a lot of work in rescuing animals and mammals. In fact, made famous by Winter, a rescued dolphin, the star of a dolphin tale, who sadly passed away the week of our previous Clearwater Beach video. As well as dolphins, you can see sea turtles, otters, pelicans, sharks, rays, and other mammals and reptiles with regular shows. It is $38 for adults and $29 for children 3 to 12. They also have a Sea Life Safari boat tour that is $28 or a sunset tour for $36 per passenger, ages three and up. There's a nice paved bike path along the length of the causeway for a mile and a half crossing over the Little Clearwater Bridge that leads to the marina, now entering Clearwater Beach. At the far end of the marina is the bait house, a dockside, old Florida style fish shack and tackle shop with a menu of fresh local seafood, beer and wine on a deck right on the water. Between the bait house and the Little Clearwater Bridge is a nice fishing platform. At the parking lot at the marina, you can only purchase parking for 30 minutes at a time. When you book a boat tour or other activity, they will give you a code to input into the meter that allows you to park for longer periods and will be a reasonable dollar an hour. Across the street is the Pier 60 parking lot, which is $3 per hour, no time limit. But with only 139 spaces, this lot fills up very early. In fact, while filming this, in March, I found it already full at 9.30 a.m. Most of your other garages are going to be about $30 a day. There's a garage that is next to the Pier House 60 at Devon and Coronado Drive, just two tenths of a mile from the marina. Also, next to the Hyatt Regency, the Surf Style store has parking above the store that is right across from the beach. 
Also, there's the North Beach Parking Plaza, about one-third of a mile north of the roundabout. That is $30 a day. You can pay through the ParkWiz app. All right, let's show you around the marina. Most of your boat tours are at the west end of the marina. And you have fishing charters along the north side. There's big angler fishing charters. They are pet friendly with four hour charters up to six people for $800. Bailey says, I'd love to have me some of them fish. There's the double eagle with half and full day fishing charters. This vessel has a galley with breakfast and lunch items. There's lots of wildlife around the marina. Sea Glass Kayaking offers a two and a half hour tour on a clear kayak. It is $65 for adults and $49 for children under 12. All right, we have about 12 boat tours to show you. So I'll spread them out throughout the video, showing about four or five at a time. First is Little Toot with 90 minute tours throughout the day. It's $27 for adults, $20 for children, three to 12. There be hungry sharks in these waters just waiting for the next tourist to fall overboard. If any of you happen to fall overboard, a life ring is located in the crew area. We'll toss it out to you and pull you back aboard the boat before the sharks start nipping at you. The Megabyte with a creative narration, where you ride inside the belly of the beast. There's encounters with dolphins. They have a shady awning that covers the entire length of the boat. It is $28 for adults, $20 for children, 3 to 11. There's Fins Up Clearwater, with either a dolphin and donut tour, an afternoon tour to a sandbar, or a sunset tour. And there's the Clearwater Fun Boat. This boat has table seating while indulging in an ice cream sundae. Yummy. $29 for adults, $20 for children, 4 to 12. We are going on the tour where I think you're going to see the most amount of dolphins. And that's the Sea Screamer Speedboat. A tip. You want to sit in the back of the boat if you want a great view of the dolphins as they play in the wake from the boat. This is similar to the dolphin racer we showed in our St. Pete Beach video. Although that was a two hour tour, this is just an hour tour. Like almost all the boat tours here, it takes you under the San Key Bridge and out into the Gulf, giving you views of the beach from the Gulf. For up to 15 minutes and can dive to depths of well over 700 feet. As well as dolphins, you'll see birds. It is $27 for adults and $20 for children, 5 to 12. Ages 4 and under are free. All right, now that we are getting used to a little speed, let's kick it up a notch and drive a watercraft with beach jet ski rentals. It's such a thrill to glide low to the water and you see things that you just don't see on a boat tour. I'm doing the one hour freestyle ride that is $110. You can also do a 90 minute honeymoon island tour for $150 or a two hour dolphin tour for $200. Rates include up to two people but the combined weight has to be under 350 pounds. The guide helps you to navigate the waters of the Intracoastal Waterway. And with any of the tours, they are pretty flexible to go where you want to go. I chose to go around the Mangrove Islands on the west side of Clearwater Beach towards Caladesi Island. Even if you have no experience, it's pretty easy and they will teach you quickly. Really, there's nothing to it. I'd highly recommend. Let's take a break and grab some food. You have several eateries around the marina. There's the Marina Cantina at the top of this mini mall with a nice lounge area. They are not dog friendly though. I finally decided to try the Salt Cracker Fish Camp on the ground level and they were fabulous, both the service and the food. And they are dog friendly. I had grouper cakes and pan seared veggies with a key lime pie, delicious. Just a great spot to dine for before or after your boat tour, being right next to the marina. Also on the corner of the parking lot near the roundabout is Krabby's Dockside Grill. They have a nice outdoor patio on the ground level and elevated seating on the second and third floor with a bar that overlooks the marina and the pier. 
Also a pretty good menu of seafood with pasta and salads. I had Mahi Mahi Beach tacos, was very good. And chicken fingers for And if you want an even better view of Pier 60, try Jimmy's Crow's Nest at the top of the Pier House 60 Hotel, a rooftop bar with American fare. By the way, the Pier House 60 is a pet-friendly hotel with a $75 per stay pet fee. This is the view from Jimmy's Crow's Nest. Now some more water fun for the Adrenaline Junkie. At the west end of the marina is shoot 'em up parasail and totally tubular water sports. When you book shoot 'em up as well as parasailing, you get a scenic boat ride out to the Gulf. It's about a 45 minute total trip with about eight minutes up in the air. They can fly two or three people at the same time and you fly up to a thousand feet overlooking Pier 60 in Clearwater Beach. It is $89 per person, or if you just want to ride as an observer without parasailing, it is $35. There's a $10 discount if you book online at least the day before, or do the first trip out in the morning. With totally tubular water sports, you can do water skiing or a tubing boat trip for up to six people. That is $235 for one hour, or $470 for two hours. And as a bonus, you might see dolphins as well. You can also rent a jet boat or a pontoon. All right, let's show you some of the resorts. While some of these places might be above your budget, many of them will have a day pass to enjoy their amenities, as well as good eateries and coffee shops. The Wyndham Grand is located just across the street from the marina, has a day pass for $75 for adults, $50 for children. Includes their pool deck on the ground floor with a hot tub, loungers. Here you have Doc's pool bar and grill. Also includes free valet parking. On the beach walk, there's bad fins with brews on tap, tacos, pub fare, and live music. Next to the Wyndham Grand is the Hyatt Regency. They also have a day pass that is 75 for adults, 50 for children. This includes the hot tub on the 16th floor Sky Terrace, as well as the 8th floor pool deck with loungers and towel service. With this, you also have options to add in food like a brunch at the Shore American Seafood Grill for $25, which I had, was absolutely great, with a nice terrace overlooking the beach. At the bottom floor on the beach walk is the Good Stuff Eatery with handcrafted burgers, fries, and shakes. Parking is not free at the Hyatt Regency, but it is discounted with the day pass. The beach walk, although not very long, is a nice promenade, provides a nice atmosphere to walk, ride, mingle, and enjoy the beach. It just has a good vibe. Break it down, break it down. Step on the gas, let's get out of town. We're gonna break out and have some fun. We're gonna do what we never do. Oh yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, take your body with you. It's a money, money, money weekend. Everything we wanna, we gonna do too. We gonna do too. It's less than we gonna do. Next to the high regency is the surf style. This is a huge, massive two-story store, not only with souvenirs and clothing, but also sporting goods. And they also have groceries, which comes in handy if you want some quick food. On the beach, you can rent an umbrella with two chairs for $35 or a deluxe cabana for $10 more. Great to run into some of our subscribers, Russ and Katrina from Russia, who live in Largo. So I asked them what they thought of Clearwater Beach. Oh, it's wonderful. Beautiful. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Yeah. So That's many magical. people. It's nice to see you and meet you. And oh, you. yeah. It's pretty crowded. Mike from St. Pete. It's super wide. Um, you can walk way out, it's pretty shallow. VJ and Tindall from India. And the first day in landing in 
September, I meet you. And Jerry and Princess visiting from Queens, New York. Yeah. You helped us when we went down to Miami last year. We really oh, appreciate right. it. To walk the pier, it's mostly free, but if you want to go out to the very end, it's $1. We'll come back to the pier for sunset, but for now we head towards the Opal Sands. On the right is the Barefoot Beach House, a little counter-served cafe with coffee, ice cream, and snacks. Step on the gas, let's get out of town. We're gonna break out and have some fun. Across the street are three good eateries. First is Beachcraft Local Pints and Bites, a sports bar with pizza, tacos, and seafood. Next to that is Krabby's Beach Walk Bar and Grill with seafood and steak and some outdoor games. And there's Frenchie's South Beach Cafe, known for great grouper sandwiches. The beach walk ends at the Opal Sands. The rooms here probably give you the best view in Clearwater Beach, a pool deck right on the golf. And coming in 2025 is the Opal Sol across the street. We'll be connected via a Skyway Bridge to the Opal Sands. While there is not a day pass here, you can enjoy the sandbar on the lower level. A tiki bar that overlooks the golf with live music, fresh Florida burgers, sandwiches, and cocktails. We now move to the resorts on the south part of the island, along the Clearwater Pass. Here, many of these resorts have little or no beach at all, starting with the newest resort at the JW Marriott, the closest resort to the Sand Key Bridge. There is a day pass option here, $75 for adults, $50 for children, 3 to 17. It includes the 11th floor pool deck with a hot tub, also the deep end rooftop bar here, overlooking Sand Key. Beach chairs are available for a fee, and there's discounted valet parking. Next to the JW Marriott is the Continental Towers, with vacation rentals you can book on Verbo. Next is the Hampton Inn, which is the only pet-friendly resort among these five South Side Beach resorts. It's a $75 per stay pet fee. They have a sixth floor Evie's Terrace Bar and Bistro, a full-service bar with light fare. Next to the Hampton Inn is the Shepherd's Beach Resort, probably the number one resort for entertainment and nightlife, with the Wave Night Club, with DJs, laser light shows, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Also, there's the Tiki Beach Bar and Grill, with daily live music on a concert stage. And they have Yamaha Wave Runners, kayaks, paddle boards, scooters, and bikes available for rentals. Next to Shepherd's is the Holiday Inn. There's no beach here, but they have a nice tropical pool deck and Jimmy's Fish House and Iguana Bar, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, a highly reviewed eatery, a good casual place to hang out. And there's the Edge Hotel, which you can probably find a good deal on Booking.com. They had the largest rooftop bar in Clearwater Beach on the 10th floor, Jimmy's on the Edge, and on the bottom floor is the Taco Bus, a really good counter-serve eatery with chicken, beef, pork, seafood, or vegetarian tacos. Pretty reasonably priced. I had the taco salad with this Mexican corn was really good. And finally, between the Edge Hotel and the Opal Sands is 440 West, another vacation rental you can book on Expedia. And also, if you want to stay in St. Pete Beach, check out Calm Ocean that we showed in the St. Pete Beach video. Now, if you want to enjoy the beach without the high rises and want a little break from the more crowded Clearwater Beach, on the other side of the Clearwater Pass is the more calmer Sand Key Park and Beach. Here the parking is very reasonable, $5 a day. While dogs are not allowed on the beach or the boardwalks, they are allowed in the park areas and there's an off-leash dog park. This beach has good facilities with restrooms, outdoor showers. There's an ADA crossover at least for halfway down the beach and also there's a food truck selling burgers, dogs, fish and ice cream. You can rent an umbrella and two chairs for $35. You'll find more wildlife here than on Clearwater Beach. From mid-May through October, loggerhead sea turtles nest and hatch at the park. There's shaded areas along the Clearwater Pass to fish or watch the boats coming in and out of the pass. 
Also, on the bay side is a little beach area. You can park your car right on the beach. It tends not to be too crowded because many people do not know about this area. You enter through the Clearwater Sailing Center. All right, now, going back over the bridge, back to Clearwater Beach. Back on South Gulf View Boulevard, on the street side of all those south side resorts we just showed. Here, there's Coconut Cove, a pet-friendly place you can find on Verbo. Also, in this shopping center is Magic Carpet Glide Segway Tours. It's $65 for a two-hour tour that goes 7.5 miles. They take you along the beach and the causeway. And there's Captain Bly's Landing, mini golf featuring waterfalls, caves, and a wooden pirate ship. Now, if you would like to ride in a pirate ship, we take you back to the marina to Captain Mimo's pirate cruise. Of all the pirate ships we've shown in our videos, this is one of the better ones. It is $45 for adults and $38 for children, 3 to 20. That includes taxes. There be treasure there. The crew is pretty interactive with the kids. They make it fun. Aha, they also have a sunset champagne cruise that's about $3 more. And did you know, there's a pirate, or at least a deserted island castaway, who plays on the Philadelphia Phillies that you can see at Baycare Ballpark, as Clearwater is the spring home of the Phillies. You also get to see one of the most famous mascots in sports, the Philly Fanatic. While spring training lasts from the end of February to the end of March, you can also see the Clearwater Threshers, the single A affiliate of the Phillies, who play here as well from April to September. It provides an additional entertainment to the beach that you might want to consider. Ran into subscribers Ava, Laura, and Jeff visiting from Maryland. What do you think of this ballpark? Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. I love it here. It's a great place. But we're weather. moving. We're, we, we're moving to Lakewood Ranch. Beach You can sit in what's called the burn a grassy area beyond the outfield. You are allowed to bring blankets if sitting in the burn, but no folding or camp chairs. In left field, there's Frenchie's Tiki Bar with picnic tables also in the outfield. On this day, the home team would lose to the Tampa Bay Rays, devastating the Philly fanatic. All right, we head back to Pier 60 Park. This is a nice green space area near the roundabout at the center of Clearwater Beach with a playground. During the Sugar Sand Festival, there's free concerts in this park, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. The Sugar Sand Festival happens for 17 days in early April. It's an exhibit of amazing sand sculptures where artists from around the world have come into Clearwater to create. It is $14 for admission. Children three and under are free. Open 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. During the festival, there are extra food vendors around the tent. Also amusements, bounce houses, bungee jumps, and a Ferris wheel for kids. And year round on the side of the pier is a little fun zone by big event slides with a bungee trampoline and inflatables. It operates like a carnival where you buy tickets. They also have these slides on Treasure Island as well. Every evening, weather permitting, is the sunset celebration, which starts two hours before sunset to two hours after sunset. You'll find lots of vendors on the pier, as well as street performers doing some talented tricks with lots of humor. We showed you some of the smaller boat tours. Now it's time to show the larger dinner cruises. First, there's Yacht Starship. A Sunset Buffet dinner cruise is $80 for adults, $50 for children, two through 12. In addition, there's about $9 in taxes and fees. 
It includes an open bar and complimentary tea and coffee. They also have an afternoon cruise that's about $20 cheaper. Next is the Starlight Majesty. With them, the cruise without the dinner is $30 for adults, $20 for children, 3 to 12. Taxes and fees about $5. For the dinner, you order on board from a menu like you would in a restaurant. Dinner ranges from $20 to $35. I chose the Calypso Queen, which is also operated by Starlight Cruises. For the evening tropical buffet cruise, it is $53 for adults and $33 for children, 3 to 12. You can also do the cruise without the buffet, which is about half that price. With the buffet, you get complimentary beer, wine, and rum punch. Where's me rum? As well as soft drinks. They also have an afternoon buffet cruise that is slightly cheaper. The nice thing about the Calypso Queen, being three stories, has a nice elevated deck, gives you a good view. All three of these cruises will take you out through the Clearwater Pass by Sand Key out into the Gulf. And there's the Tropics Boat Tours, a double-decker catamaran with both an enclosed area on the bottom and a sun deck on top. A day or sunset cruise is $32 for adults, $20 for children 4 through 12. While this is not a dinner cruise, it does include a complimentary champagne toast and they do have a bar with snacks and cocktails. This is the Paradise Express Boat Tour out of Dunedin that we showed in the Dunedin video. You also have a couple of Tiki Tour options. There's Go Tiki Tours with a two-hour private tour. $59 per adult, $49 for children 12 and under. The boat can hold up to 13 passengers. There's also Cruising Tiki's Clearwater with a public 90-minute cruise, $50 per person, or a private cruise, $299 for up to six people. We still have the sailboat cruises to show, but first want to do a quick tour around North Clearwater Beach. From the marina, you can easily walk under the causeway on this wraparound fishing pier under the bridge. Or if driving at the roundabout, you bear to the right on Mandalay Boulevard. On the corner here, the famous Ron John Surf Shop. Above that, the Hooters Sports Bar. And above that, on the third floor, is the Three Daughters Brewery, giving a 220 degree view overlooking Pier 60 and the marina with beach bites, craft brews, and hard ciders. Further down, Mandalay, a Dunkin' Donuts, and the Surfside Tap House with burgers, seafood, and sandwiches. On the bay side is the Courtyard by Marriott, a newer hotel just opened a couple of years ago, with lounge decks on both the bay and the beach side. On the south side of the hotel is the Papaya Street Plaza with a modern fishing deck. As well as a boardwalk on the bay side of the hotel. For a more budget friendly hotel there's this Frenchie's Oasis but it's not pet friendly. In this area is also Frenchie's Saltwater Cafe and Coco's Crush Bar and Grill where I ordered a shrimp dinner. They also have these fried Brussels sprouts that were similar to Guy Fieri's downtown Flavortown in Pigeon Forge that I always order. Now heading towards North Beach, on Mandalay is the Pelican Walk Shopping Mall with several eateries and most notably Hogan's Hangout by former pro wrestler and beloved resident of Clearwater, Hulk Hogan. At the North Beach is the Rockaway parking lot. It is the normal $3 per hour. Here there are two of Clearwater's best restaurants with sand volleyball courts in between. On one side of the lot is the Palm Pavilion. And on the other side of the lot is Frenchie's Rockaway Grill. Both restaurants with seating overlooking the beach. At the beach you can rent an umbrella and two chairs for $25 with North Beach Water Sports. Additional chairs $10. They also have kayak and paddleboard rentals, $35 per hour, a banana boat for $25, and jet skis, $150 for an hour rental, or $180 for a 90 minute tour, or $350 for a complete Clearwater Beach three hour tour. Also at North Beach is the San Pearl Resort. Now heading back towards Pier 60 on Mandalay is the Salty Crab. And we end at the closest resort to Pier 60, the Hilton Clearwater Beach, with a pool deck right on the beach. They also have the famous Tommy's Tiki Bar, with a nice area to lounge in, with ironic chairs and tables. 
All right, now it's time to head back to the marina. We saved the best for last as we hop on the Clearwater schooner for a two-hour sunset sail. Note, there is also Kai Lani you might like. With that one, the music is louder though, and it's really a catamaran with a sail, whereas the Clearwater schooner is more of a natural experience on a true sailboat. It's $75 for adults, $50 for children, 5 to 12. Really well worth it. Maybe budget an additional 20% for tips. As the sails go up, the engine is turned off. You feel like you go back in time to a simpler world where you are at one with the nature. They take limited passengers to make sure it's not too crowded. While they do have some seating in the boat, they also have cushions along the side of the boat, which is what I prefer, to feel the wind on the face, hear the sounds of the waves, truly one of the best ways to experience the Gulf. Oh, and did I mention the sunset? So if you are feeling stressed out and want to break free from the daily routine, maybe all you need is a little stimulation for that blue mind. Enjoy God's nature. We didn't get any of them. There we go. Whether it's a boat tour, water sports, the beach, or just hanging out on the water, Clearwater Beach gives you so many ways to enjoy the waters of Florida's Gulf Coast. I'd love to hear your experiences on Clearwater Beach, as well as other places you'd like to see videos of in the comments below. I know some of you watch us on TV, but if you are planning a getaway, take advantage of our description in the video. We list the places that we feature so that you can use this as a checklist for planning your getaway. If traveling with a dog, these Kurgle dog backpacks are so handy. Allows you to bring a dog into places you otherwise might not be able to. I put a link in the description below. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We film travel videos across the USA. In the winter and spring, we focus on Florida, but in the summer, we do videos outside of Florida. If you would like to hire us to film your city, region, resort, or travel-related business, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. Still looking at weather to decide where we are going next, but want to do the nature coast of Florida, as well as an updated video of Fort Myers and Madeira Beach. Hopefully, maybe run into you somewhere on our journeys. If you see us, always make sure to say hi. From Florida's Gulf Coast, I thank you for your support and comments and wish blessings to you wherever you may be.